Dear beloved viewers, it's finally time to start brushing up to Legends as DB2O2's English release is finally upon us. Oh boy, I've been very, very excited for this set. At long last, it's finally here, a brush with the Legends. So these two boxes we're going to open today are of course brought to me by Parkage, our sponsor for today's video. So do check them out if you need to pick up any overdress product, including of course singles for a brush with the Legends. So make sure you go there, use discount code DIFFERENT5 for 5% discount at checkout. I have been waiting for this set for a very long time. There's so many exciting things. I even busted out my own pair of legends uh, for this today's playmat. And so we're gonna open two boxes. They also sent me an extra little uh, critical slash over trigger marker that they have here. So this comes as a box topper in every box, but it's still a very nice little addition. So cool, thank you very much. All right, so let's set one of these boxes aside and get into it because of course, this time around, there is no over triggers in the set, which means that of course the ratios of what we pull from a box will be a bit different. I've already opened one box in Japanese, which I'm sure some of you guys have seen, and we had some pretty good pulls. Of course, in terms of SPs, we are still getting one per box, and I really hope that we can get the brand key ones because I really do need those. Let's look at the back of the box here. We see the encounter cards which are the unique factor of this set. So, of course, Dragonic Overlord and Phantom Blaster Dragon are not really back as encounter cards, but rather they're just like reimagined as like pieces of history in the Vanguard lore. And so they're pretty cool decks, especially Overlord. I'm quite excited to actually play with. Here are the box specifications that we can see here if my camera decides to focus. All right, there we go. So featured, ah, uh, it says featured clans again. It's supposed to say featured nations. Come on. Second booster set in a row. So, of course, Dragon Emperor, Dark Sex, Brian Gate, Keter Sanctuary, and Stoic the five main nations. 10 types of triples, six, 15 types, sorry, of doubles. 30 types of rares, 65 types of commons. Two types of DSRs, which are, of course, Bastion and Bruce. Uh, 40 types of SPs, and 50 types of hollows. So, that is very exciting. Here's the other side of the box. Nothing else that's too crazy. So, let's just get into it and get opening. So, let's see what we get from the first box. We have some box topper promos as well, which is pretty exciting. So let's just take a look at all of it together. All right, so we open it up like this. It's just like last time. So this is the promo pack, and then this is the advertisement. So let me just move the box aside over here. So advertisement as usual contains the same stuff. D4DJ, Vanguard Zero, Overdust Anime, and of course, Bang Dream. And then this promo pack, I think, is the same every single time. So it doesn't actually change um, between the boxes or anything. So it generally stays the same. And we got another UU and Nirvana critical slash over trigger marker. And the promo that we get is the drag ritter hardy so when placed on rear count plus one choose an opponent's back row rear and retire it so this is a promo that japan had that we never got so it's nothing too special in terms of like an actual card i don't think it's actually like super crazy or whatever but anyway let's get into it so we have 16 packs to open and of course we're going to open them a bit slowly for this first box i'm going to be doing quite a few box openings as this is the of course one from parkage but i did order a whole case myself and so you guys will have been able to watch or will be able to watch the 10 boxes of like half of the case on my twitch and then the other half of the case will of course be opened on youtube throughout a variety of videos so let's just get into it we have the blitz order for bruce 20k blitz order mr dober very amazing card here definitely something you want to have for sure we have mel horizon she's pretty okay this is played in hex orb sometimes uh this one not so much basically it's kind of like the like how we had like god hand in v series is kind of like the return of that and we have our first rare which is the supernatural extraction basically the protobulb soul swapper for uh paramagnus and okay our first double rare is going to be the prideful dragon so when he attacks if you have four more grade three regards camels one so boss one to draw a card but if you persona road he gets 5k in a crit instead for uh, of that draw effect so it's quite nice because you are able to essentially just you know get him really really big so that's quite cool i'll leave the comments on the side here and we're gonna just kind of like keep the rares double rares etc on the box also, the knife I used to open these boxes, like I was opening some other stuff earlier and I cut myself by accident, so be careful. All right, Aruna, very important card for Verena, so I'm definitely happy to have that. All right, we have our first misprint. Until the end of, until end of that battle when your opponent would end, until end of that battle when your opponent would call from hand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well understood. Oh, we had Kizan Riji there. Additional Angel, they gave like damage manipulation all of a sudden, which is quite surprising. This card's kind of interesting. Lady Demolish, when her attack boosted hits a Vanguard, or when her att boosted attack hits a Vanguard, you can mill five. So I guess it's okay for Zorga. I don't really know too much. All right, we have one of the unique factors of this set, the 20k shield front trigger. So if your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, this thing gets 5k shield. So 20k front triggers, and this is what the rare pattern looks like as well. Look 
looks really nice since of course these are really important for their respective decks and we have our first foil so this is not a double rare mr nahalem so this will be very nice of course he's the great two of the overlord ride line so when you ride an overlord over him you can call him out and once per turn if you have vanguard with overlord in his name so plus one and he and all of your vanguard get plus 5k power so even good in premium which is cool to see for sure so definitely quite like that all right so i'll just keep the foils over here as well and keep it going so so far some nice packs it's just it's just nice to be opening packs again i'm sure you guys saw a lot of my box openings from the last set might have gotten a bit exhausting gojo it's a pretty generic uh, counter charge which is not too bad so that's nice oh i love this art noble will just looks super cool like i really hope they keep doing these kind of like blitz orders with like fantastic art just in general orders with a fantastic art is like all i could ask for ah uh, yes we have mr fan favorite blaster dark there was once a knight that wielded the blade of determination in the shadows of glory i like how the encounter cards like are their flavor text literally is like an entry in a history book you know so of course one place on vanguard rearguard circle you can come up one retire another rearguard to retire an opponent's rearguard and of course get drive plus one which only works on vanguard circle of course so he's basically just like his v-series self and otherwise on regular circle he is a 15k attacker which is also quite nice and we have our first triple rare that i'm definitely very happy to get which is of course perio turquoise so there's amazing support for the uh you know aurora bell princess archetype of course they made him a little misprint you might notice she has 10,000 shield although she's definitely supposed to have only five and they already uh, announced the misprint on their website so that's already there triple rare pattern looks the same as before i think so they didn't change it up or anything a bit unfortunate if you guys have seen my japanese box opening video you'll know what the japanese triple red pattern looks like i think it looks a bit better personally but i mean that's just me but anyway th this says during your turn if two or more of your opponent's cards are imprisoned in your prison she's a 15k attacker and when your opponent's card imprisoned in your prison is placed on rearguard circle it loses 5k power but only when she's on front or rearguard circle so if you have two of her out then anything they take back from the prison loses 10k power which is huge absolutely massive so that's nice good pull for sure i'm pretty sure we still get four triple per box so i'm definitely quite happy with whatever we get so let's just keep it going let's just see what we get here all right let's keep it up all right viola she's really nice art but sadly not super great ah uh, yes undo the youth discovered the hidden treasure of legends recovered in videos videos huh interesting why are the videos doing there ah uh, yes explosive melting heart i feel like this is like a macross 7 song title so this is the blitz order that gives your opponent's unit uh, like unit minus 5k for every card in your prison for the whole turn which is pretty huge i like that speaking of prison best card bagu motor lets you rest itself if your opponent has one or less cards in prison to basically just imprison something from their drop zone really amazing card and we have a double rare which is wild intelligence so of course this card is also amazing kill almost one to mill three and then choose up to one card of the same grade as your vanguard or lower from your drop and call it to rear but if your vanguard is magnolia you revive two instead so that's really really nice definitely very happy to get that so that's two double rares down so we're slowly progressing through it very nice very nice very nice maybe very not as threat amazing common for uh for the Orphis deck, definitely cool to see. All right, Mr. Fulbao, the resurrected image depicts the fierce battle between the Apocalypse and the Abyss. What the, what was my man up to over there? Oh, this is a really nice comment too. So this first box opening, I really want to take it slow. So, you know, you just got to talk about comments and stuff. Capald is just a nice, like almost one, rest of rear guard, reveal the top, put it into your hand or call it. Like it's, it's a nice card. The Fleet Swallower for Zorga, nice little guard district. Ooh, we have a foil here. Tanya. This card is kind of okay. And, oh, that's not the best kind of foil, but I do like this card. Coffin Shooter. You know, he <laughs> could be like coughing, like the verb. But uh, drop Soul Nose Return, Soul Plus One, Bind a Order from your drop to revive him. I think it's a pretty alright card. Might be useful in the future, personally. That's what I feel about it. You know, if you haven't seen my video yet of uh, talking about which cards you should have from the set, I mentioned him as well as a potential card that might be better in the future, too. So, worth to take a look at there. Alright. Gonna start speeding up through the comments here. Don't want to take too long. Brunner, or Burana, she was called in in Japanese, is like a nice little, like, retire, for, like, counts as two card. And, ooh, Mr. Damari. So, Damari is an attacking standard in the Verena deck. We're gonna attack with him and then pay the cost to call a Trick Star from your drop zone and then overdress over the Trick Star with the new Nirvana. Sorry, with the new Verena, not the new Nirvana. So, it's a pretty good card, but sadly, I think it doesn't really have a place in the current deck too much just because, like, just because it's like, you know, you. You really need your deck space for everything that you want to play. Your lens dragon looks cool. The feeling of regret changes into the blade of revenge. They're so edgy, man. All right, what do you say? 
There are things that the light cannot accomplish and they know of this. Wow, so edgy. All right, another front trigger, Frenzied Harris, the Storkia one. Good to see ya. Oh, well, speaking of Storkia, we got Rogue Headhunter. Pretty happy about this because we have a lot of Zorga players in my locals. The triple red pattern looks really good for this guy too. But this is, of course, you know, 13k attacker slash booster, and when placed on rear, next time you would Elka Magic, you reduce the cost by one counter bonus, which is really, really good. So it's a good triple order to get, especially because we have a lot of Zorga players at locals, so I can actually help them <laughs> finish their decks. Because I think we have, like, what? I have a Zorga deck, and then there's, like, three other people that play Zorga, so it's really a popular deck. Even though I don't really think it's supposed to, like, it's not as popular in other parts of the world, I think, but, uh, you know... The sages seek answers to reality, for they despise the emptiness of ideals. Wow. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. All right, rare. Nectar. And, ooh, we have another. I like Akulpa. She looks really good. Like, her art is like, woof. So nice. And, all right, we got Fairy of Tragic Love. So that's another foil. So we have three hollows so far, two triples, and three doubles. So, so far, we're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right, let's keep it going. Let's see what else we can get. Pashatatal. Mr. Arwing. Demolish. Bilber, where are you going? Langina, all right, I think we might have, have something here. Grand Terry and, oh, just a foil, just a foil this time around. It's the Cruise Rock Dragon. I can see him being played in Overlord here and there. Uh, maybe not too much, but I don't know. It's an option, it's an option. If your opponent counterplays you, it's kind of worth it, but that's about it. All right, plus 10k shield guy. This is the Battle Door guy. This is a weird little order guy. This is uh, Worse Kusi, so that's something. All right, Iron An Anchor, the kind of like budget Zorga, except you have to like, you, like you Alchemagic with same name instead of different name, so it's kind of odd, I would say. Plus Teya, I thought this card was good when it got revealed, but then in the end it wasn't actually that great, so sad. Oh, we have another triple rare. It's Mr. Crimson Expeller. So this is basically Bear Magnus support. It's a pretty cool generic card. When it's attacking to Vanguard, you Soul Charge one, and uh, in Soul you can Calmos one and put him into the drop to use Soul Charge one and give you Vanguard plus 10k. It's a pretty decent card. Lets you be aggressive while also building up your soul. So so we do like that. We do like that. All right. I think we only have one triple rare left. It'd be nice to get a Verena or a Branke card again, even though we already got one, but can always have more. Eclipse Moonlight, amazing new order. Canvas wants to play it. And when you play it, you call a Shadow Army token. It's great. It's so good. Ooh, front trigger for Bruce. Speaking of Bruce, could there be a Lenard? No, it's going to be Mr. Overlord. So we have the encounter card in this box. The Dragon of Apocalypse carved its name into various annals of history. Well, he sure did. He sure did. So of course, Overlord, I really love the way it looks. Like the encounter cards actually like really grew on me. And I really like the way, like I think this is nostalgia done right, in my opinion. So during the battle, he attacks the rear guard. Your opponent can't guard from their hand. So you almost basically like confirm hits on the rear guards. And when Sek hits anything, so he wants to return, Kamas 1, discard 1 to stand him and lose a drive so very overlord-esque effect let's just put it that way it's a very overlord effect i think we can all agree to that so yeah we still have i think three double rares missing if i'm not mistaken and an sp so still got a lot to go so let's just keep it going keep it rolling over here another full bow breeze breeze your favorite uh washer detergent and oh that's a good double right to get Togashirashi. very good double right to get i'm definitely gonna need quite a few play sets of this because this is good in nirvana and it's also good in overlord i would say so very good simple skill when discarded from hand during your turn put it into your soul but a lot of decks need soul now so that kind of makes sense right you know when decks need soul Cards like this end up being really good, right? That's just how the cookie crumbles. All right, there's a regular Cruise Rock. First time we see that. Oh, there's like a blazing flare from the past, you know, or like from the future, I guess, since we're in 3,000 years in the future. Oh, Horns of Blessing. That's the kind of like uh, Destiny draw or whatever that's called in Yu-Gi-Oh for uh, Overdress. It's a good card, but I feel like we might need to wait for like more Verenas for this to be even better. And oh, Cleave Muddler. All right, that's not double rare. Not super excited to get it. It's another counter charge for Bar Magnus, even though it already has one. But we got Togachirashi in this box, so I really can't complain. I think we still have one more. One more double rare to go in this box, so that's gonna be pretty good, pretty exciting. Alright, Estret, Mr. Estret. Alright, let's keep it going. A lot of repeating commons now. Oh, rare. And Halem. Oh, so does our last box have an SP? Is that how it's gonna be? Oh, alright. Ooh, foil plus Taya does look pretty nice, though. This does look pretty nice, though. It's a nice little foil. Definitely a nice little foil. Oh, we still have two more packs, two more packs, two more packs, okay. <laughs> All right, so I think the remaining box openings, like I'll probably do like two more with two boxes and then I'll do two with three boxes so we can really like speed through the last three. 
or rather like speed through the last box openings, the last two box openings. Atel Altepo looks really good, really, really good art. Love it. Nice front trigger for Brankade. Happy to get that too. Gonna need a lot of those. Berserk Dragon and oh, that's a nice little SP. Our SP for the box is gonna be Bar. So the grade one of the Dragonic Overlord Ride line. Would you look at that? Looks, oh, oh my God, look. They have like a foiling applied to the borders where the over like where the uh like the encounter border actually is and then the rest is like textured foiling wow that's really sick that is super sick so when you ride on him with nahalem you can almost want to search for any grade one and add it to your hand so literally conroe reborn and then when he um when your vanguard attack hits anything he gets plus 5k at the end of turn so basically just a 13k booster as well but damn that's a nice little sp for sure i'm pretty happy about that so our last pack will just have a double rare here but of course we still have another box hey i mean there's definitely going to be a lot of like keter like how in set one we had a lot of Brank Gate and Stoikia SPs because of Zorga and Orphist. Here we're gonna have a lot of Dragon Empire and Keter because of PBD and, well, you know, Dragonic Overlords. So, last. Oh, wait, we still got something. We have Thumbarino. So, that's our last double rare for the box. She is amazing. She's a basically a 23k booster when she boosts a Shadow Army token and then she retires herself and the Shadow Army token um, after doing that and then draws you a card. So, really nice. Uh, very beautiful drawn by Daisuke Izuka of course the artist of Orphist and Chaos Breaker Dragon and many other amazing cards that's a really a good card to get definitely a good card to get so let's do a quick summary of everything we pulled here all right so first things first the foils we had Plastea, Cruise Rock, um, Fairy of Tragic Love, Coffin Shooter, Mr. Nahalem here uh, then for double rares we had Thumberino, Cleave Muddler, Toga Shirashi, very good one to get, Damari, uh, Wild Intelligence, just so many good double rares, uh, then Prideful Dragon, then of course for triples we had Dragonic Overlord himself, we had Crimson Expeller, uh, Rogue Headhunter, the Perio Turquoise, and for the SP for the box we had Mr. Bar. so very nice first box, definitely quite happy with that, so let me just quickly clean up and let's do the second box a little bit faster this time. Alright, time for box number two, let's just get into it and see what we get, I hope I get a Tomari Please, a Tomari 100 million slash over trigger slash critical trigger counter, whatever thingy it is. I really want the Tomari one. Zaxa would be good too. Danji would be fine too, but I already have two UUs, so that's the only one that I don't want here. So please, God, please. I wonder if there's a pattern, you know, like again with like the double raids and stuff. I really hope there isn't. I really hope this time there isn't. All right, what do we get? Oh, we got the Magnolia one, which I had from the uh, Japanese box as well. So keep that sealed for now. Put the trash away here and let's just get into it. I'm just going to take the packs out of the box this time around like we did with the last set. Apologies, I keep knocking my hand into my tripod. All right, so once again, we have 16 packs and let's just get into it. All right, so once again, it's time for the Royal Rumble see what we pull so i'm gonna kind of speed through the comments and stuff once again well not once again but this time around i'm gonna speed through them a little bit simply because we already have seen basically the majority of them we got the front trigger for uh dark states very nice and oh well 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 look who's here the front trigger comes with a lenard too well i don't mind to see you buddy you know lenard is definitely an amazing card some people would say it's quite overstated and i would agree to that entirely but it does make the roost deck even more fun than it already was if you're in final rush he gets plus 5k and he can attack all of your opponent's units in a column so attacks both back row and front row at the same time and when stack hits soul charge one and if your vanguard is bruce you can choose a card from your soul and call it an open reverse circle so yeah this creates some pretty crazy promos look forward to the deck profile where i will show you sorry not crazy promos crazy combos i can't speak english uh so you can look forward to the video that i do on bruce i will definitely feature certain combos i've been playing the deck a fair bit here and there um with people on tts so we can definitely take a look at the full potential of the deck by the time i get around to making that video i think you guys should be pretty excited for it all right nectar good order all right then we have cardinal prima and a foil nectar okay that's a good foil to get that's actually quite beautiful so you can see how it's lit up i think i got this one in japanese too but you can see oh his chest is lit up too that's actually really nice i got another light so there's like a light coming in from like right there you can kind of see how it's like reflecting so we get a bit more of a foil perspective here which is definitely quite 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 nice all right, I'm once again excited for what triples and stuff we're going to get in this box. Very, very hyped. Once again, huge thank you to Parkage for providing me with it. It's definitely very awesome. All right, we have another foil. This time it's the Tanya. So not too fussed about Tanya, to be honest. She is okay. 
I'll give her an okay out of five rating on IMDb. All right, so we keep it going. He's not AG. It's a pretty nice, like generic card for quite a few Dragon Empire decks, so I don't personally mind it too much. All right, so let's keep the comments going over here. Blaster Dark blesses us once more, followed by oh, all right, it's Mr. Refer Sauce. So this is one of the new Keter Sanctuary triple rares. So I'm on top of well, Phantom Blaster Dragon. If you Persona roll this turn, this unit gets boost and back or rear circle once per turn. When your other unit stands by card's effect, you can stand this unit. So when Bastion stands the attacker in front of him, he also stands. When Hex Orb stands the uh, great three that cannot was to stand herself, he also stands. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Otherwise, you just use him for the boost. Damn, we've already seen two triples and no doubles so far. That's a new kind of pace, a new kind of pace. You know, it's, it's better as long as we're not like pulling the SP in the first pack. I think it's okay because then people start going like, no, the fun. Oh, I mean, I start going like the fun of the box is gone. All right. Front trigger for. Oh, OK. Front trigger for Brankade. That's good. Berserk Dragon. <gasps> oh, well, I think I jinxed it because we got the SP and this time it is Glass Sorceress. Look at that. All beautiful and drawn by Fuzi Choco, the artist of Gavriel. Look how amazing this looks. The SP definitely has some... Oh, wow. Look at all that texture and everything. That is very nice. Like, her dress has, like, a different layer and everything. Dude, look at that. That's insane. So, of course, this card is quite good. You can, uh, when you call her, if you value this Hex Orb or Pentagleam, you can come one discard one to look at top two and call two units from among them. So, very, very nice. Very strong card. All right. We got our SP for the box. Definitely not complaining. She is a good card to get. But we're definitely going through the high foils pretty quickly here. We haven't had a single S... We haven't had a single double rare yet, which is kind of surprising. So... <clears throat> wow, it sounds like I'm losing my voice, which is definitely not good, considering how much more product we have to open over here. So, gotta gotta make sure you protect your voice. Oh, well, 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 well. So much for protecting your voice. We're gonna get another Perio Turquoise. I'm pretty happy about that. Prison, completion, speed run. Definitely quite cool with that. All right, cool. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. You love to see it. All right. So, going on here, Violence Yell. All right, Virulence full bow front trigger for Keter good oh and we have Derry Violet so of course this is the uh, basically perfect guard against great tour lower units so you can basically have her on the board and then we just put on guardian circle whether by intercepting or by calling from hand you can solve us one if you have at least uh, one card in your prison to basically make it so that the great twos attack is pg so i think that this card is quite nice definitely you want to run it as like a two of i would say really want to see her in sp as well so hopefully we get that. Hopefully we get that. So I think I'm debating what I'll do with the SPs of the nations that I don't like. I kept a lot of them from the last set, but now I'm kind of thinking like maybe I should start getting rid of some. Oh, wow. We have a lot of dupe triples and that's the last triple we get too. Dragonic Overlord. All right. Well, hello, Mr. Overlord. We already showed you off in the last box, so we don't really need to talk about you now. All right. So that's our SP done. Our triples are done. All we have left is double rares and foils, basically. So let's see what we get again. Pray for Brankate stuff. Pray for Brankate stuff. That's the foils I want to see over here. Definitely. Definitely. And, okay, well, that's a Dark States one. That's the, like, Kent PG Rearguards card. Like, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice. All right, so that's the foil. All right, let's keep it going. So far, this box has been pretty good, though. Like, Pulling Overlord is definitely nice. He's a pretty... Like, even if you don't play it, he's a pretty expensive Crate 3. Or a pretty expensive Triple Ray, rather. So, definitely not something you want to complain about. Because it is a good pull, for sure. Alright, Sleeve Tug and Bell. Followed by another Cleave Muddler. Alright, I think the Double Rays are going to start coming, like, back to back to back. Just because there should be so many of them coming up here. So, let's keep it going. Alright, Birette Cannery. Nice, nice, nice. All right, Lengina, Olwyn. Oh, Olwyn's a rare. Ooh, okay, we got a foil up in, up in here. Freeze Breeze and Blaster Javelin. I would actually wouldn't mind getting like a foil ride line for the PPD deck. So this foil full bow and foil Blaster Dark would be pretty cool. And I think for opening a case, I should have two of each foil. So that would definitely be quite cool. Quite cool. All right, let's keep it going. I guess we've pulled all the triples and two of them are the same as our first box. So we pulled the SP. I guess double rare-wise, Chuk Pogachirashi would be nice as a double. Very, very cool. All right. Well, we got Pridefall. That's another double from the last box. Uh, so we still have two more doubles in here. 
but let's keep it going keep it going and seeing of course make sure you tune into the other box openings too so you see what kind of stuff we pull hopefully some hype sps maybe a dsr who knows that would be actually really like crazy hype oh nice Orgula. forgot about you amazing card from magnolia makes the deck a lot like more greedy i guess which is something i quite like so definitely not going to complain three packs left all right we still have two doubles in it in three packs and one foil so let's see what we get can i get a orphist order please that would be very very cool very 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 cool and gaming and epic all right bagu motor and oh well that is a brand game foil i'll take that for sure ecopa might be good in the future too might like she has some good future potential um depending on how fast we can start making shadow army tokens so definitely will take that too all right this means our last two packs will be both double rares which is pretty exciting i would say okay so aruna once again she's oh we didn't get any verina valiente huh but i guess i'll get them from from the case so it's not too bad i guess not too bad and oh well speaking of verina valiente we have damari so quite a lot of doubles are repeating but it's not a pattern like the thing is that it's not a pattern like it was in the first set. That's one thing that I personally didn't quite like in set one was that like the double rares were pattern. So like you would know what you're going to get. And okay, yeah, we got some new ones. We got some repeating ones. I quite like that. So that was a Darius. So if we see here, the double rares are like we got one. Oh, sorry. There's a foil. Oops. So we got one, two three we got three from that we had in the last box and we have three that we didn't so looks like there isn't a pattern but of course we'll see that in the case opening when we get to it and then of course for the triple rares today we got the ever powerful lenard uh mr refer sauce the turquoise as well as dragonic overlord encounter card so also very nice and then once again for the foils and sp our SP for the box is the Diaglass Sorceress. So there we go. Focus. She's beautiful. Got to make sure you focus on her. And then the foils were Ecolpa, uh, Peperi, the Tanya, the Nectar, as well as Blaster Javelin. So very, very nice. Good boxes. Once again, huge thank you to Parkage.com for sending me them. This was very fun to open. And of course, look forward to more box openings. There might even be another one coming today, question mark. I'll see. Hopefully I can open everything fast enough and, and turn it on into YouTube right after. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today, though. Once again, huge thank you to Parkage for sponsoring the video. Make sure you show some love to them as well as to this video. Drop a like, drop a sub, whatever you feel like. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.